in this in forming the feminine gender you have to change the word itself so there are some things that we got to be very careful so in this by changing a word we are going to form the feminine gender so what are we going to do we are going to change by changing by changing of word that's what we are going to do changing of word we are going to form the feminine gender so now let's say masculine feminine masculine feminine okay the first word i have here is bachelor hmm it's a this is a bachelor boy bachelor bachelor is a person a man who is not married but the female complete change maid she's a maid you will say maid you can also say bachelor spinster bachelor you can also say maid she's a maid she's not married boy boy and that is girl by changing the complete word we are forming the feminine form brother brother sister complete change brother sister bull cow very good bull cow next cock hen cock hen next dog bitch dog female you'll say bitch and then you have earl countess earl countess you'll say countess countess and we have some more Let's read that. Bachelor, maid, boy, girl, brother, sister, bull, cow, cock, hen, dog, bitch, earl, countess. Next we have is father, mother, father, mother. Yes, father, mother. gentleman lady gentleman complete change lady lady next horse mare horse mare then we have husband wife has been complete change wife next king queen king queen lord lady lord lady and then uh, man woman and i have some more for you now let's look at it mother father father mother gentleman lady horse mare husband wife king queen lord lady 
man, woman. And I have some more for you. Next, I, we did man, woman. Now we have monk, nun. You say monk in the monastery, then you say, there's a nun in the monastery. Monk, they live in the cloistered monastery. Then you have nephew, nephew. And then you will say knees. Nephew, knees. Then we have papa, mama. Papa and mama. Complete change. Okay, that's what we are looking at. Complete change to form the feminine. Sir, madam. Sir, madam. Then we have, finally we have son, daughter. Very good. Son, daughter. Uncle, aunt. Uncle, aunt. So complete change in the formation of feminine form. When you say monk, you say nun, nephew, niece, papa, mama, sir, madam, son, daughter, uncle, aunt. To form the feminine, we change completely. So far we have done masculine and some changes to make the feminine. Now I have got some, you need to look at very carefully at some new common gender. Some common gender you need to look at. Common. Now these are common genders. What are they? When you say parent, it can be the father or mother. Parent. It's a common gender. Relation. My relation has come. When you say the relation has come home, it can be a male or a female. Friend. A friend can be a boy or a girl, man or a woman. That's common for both. Cousin. My cousin has come from outstation. Cousin can be a girl or a boy, man or a woman. Okay. Bird. Again, bird can be a female bird or a male bird. Dear, dear, it's common for both. We can say it's a he or she, dear. So it's a common gender used for that. Servant, my servant has come to clean the house. It can be a man servant or a maid servant. So servant. Teacher, teacher can be a girl, man or a woman. Nurse. Can be a man or a woman. Doctor. Doctor can be a man or a woman. Child. It can be a girl or a boy. It's a common gender. Baby. It can be a male or a female baby, any baby. Often. An orphan child it can be a male child or it can be a female child. Pupil, all the pupil may enter the class. It can be girls or boys, pupil. Then we have students. When you say student, it can be girls or boys. Student. And then finally you have person. When you are referring to a person, it can be anybody. Some person is at the door. It can be a male or a female. So, these are some of the common genders we need to keep in mind. Okay, you, you do not know girl or boy, but you simply say parent or one of the parent. Relation, friend, cousin, bird, dear, servant, teacher, nurse, doctor, child, baby, orphan, pupil, student, person, when you refer to any of these, 
they do not have masculine or feminine gender. You, you can use anything, it is common either for male or female. We have done noun genders. We did masculine gender, feminine gender, neuter gender, common gender. We have done words, how to form the female gender, sometimes complete change, sometimes borrowing part of the male, uh, masculine and forming the feminine. Now, the words are not sufficient. We are going to use in sentence form. Only when we use in sentence form, we can think, oh, this is feminine gender, so I must use this. This is neuter gender. So, we are learning gender form, noun gender, so that we can utilize in our speaking, in our writing. Okay? So, first I will write the masculine sentences, gender, and we will change that and write the feminine sentence. Okay? I will do one, then you will understand. First, the king. The king, the king went to the palace. Now, the king went to the palace, that is a masculine gender. Now, what are we going to change here? The king. So, the king will become Queen. That is all very simple. So, this is masculine gender and then we need to do feminine gender. Okay. So, this is masculine. We are doing the masculine gender and then we are going to change it into feminine. That is what we are doing now. Okay changing the masculine and the feminine. The queen, the king becomes the queen, the queen. That is all, just single word. The queen went to the palace, that is all. The queen went to the palace. Okay, now, you learned how to change. All you need to do, take the king. The king is masculine, we changed and we put down queen. But you must remember, we have to know, only when you know you can change. The next one we are going to do is, he ate his breakfast. He, he ate his breakfast. Now, what are we going to change here? We are going to change he, we have to change his to form the feminine. Okay, so what will you say? She ate her breakfast. Very good. She ate her breakfast. So, what did we change here? She ate. He, she, his, her. Very easy, but you got to be very careful. Next I have it. His uncle has a car. His uncle, his uncle has a car. So, what will you change? You will change uncle. Can you change car? No, you should know what are the genders. So, what will you write here? His uncle has a car. So, his will become her. Very good. Her uncle will become aunt. Her aunt has a car. Very good. Now, there is one more part to it. He goes to his office in his car. He goes, he goes 
to office. He goes to office in his car. In his car. Now, how will you change this? He goes to office in his car. You will say, she goes to office in her. His will become her. His will become her. You wrote her aunt. Now here, he goes to the office in his car. You will write, she goes, she goes to the office or she goes to office. In her car. In her car. Now please look at this carefully. Her, his has become her, uncle becomes aunt, he becomes she, and his becomes her. Making it into feminine. The next sentence I have here is, the father loved the oldest son very much. The father, the father loved, father loved the eldest son, the eldest, eldest son, father loved the eldest son very much. Now, how will you change this? The father becomes that we change. Then, son had to be changed. Now, let's see how we do it. The mother loved the eldest daughter very much. So, how will you change that? The mother, the mother, Loved the eldest, loved the eldest son becomes daughter, eldest daughter very much. What have we done here? We change the father to mother. Son becomes daughter. Okay? Then, his brother is an actor. Next one is, his brother is an actor. Now, what I have to change here? You will change his brother and actor. All this had to be changed to the feminine form. So that will be her, his brother will be her sister. So it will be her sister is an actress. Okay? Her sister is an actress. Now, let's look at all the sentences that we have changed. Here, what have we done from the masculine, we made the feminine. What are the words we have changed? Here we have his brother, her sister, actor, actress. Now, the king went to the palace. The king become the queen went to the palace. He ate his breakfast. That become she ate her breakfast. And here, his uncle has a car. Her aunt has a car. He goes to office in his car. She goes to office in her car. The father loved the eldest son very much. The mother loved the eldest daughter very much. Finally, his brother is an actor. And her sister is an actress. Learning to change the masculine gender to feminine gender in the sentence construction.
Now I will put down some sentences for you and then you will change the gender of the nouns. Okay? So we are going to change the gender of the noun. That is what we are going to do now. Change. Change the gender. of the noun. And that is what we are going to do. We are going to change the gender of the noun. Okay, I will give you the sentence and you make the changes. The first one, can, can she come in, can she Come in, madam. Can she come in, madam? Now that is a question mark. There are changes to be made here. Now what are the changes that we are going to make here? She, madam has to be changed. So what will you do now? Can she come in, madam? Then you must say, can he come in, sir? So how will you write this? Can he come? Can he come in, sir? Okay, we are learning to change the gender. Okay, another one. Second one. She has. She has a bitch. She has a bitch who at who at a drawn who at a drawn every day. Every day. Now here we got to be careful. You must know the other gender. Only then we can proceed. Okay. Now here you have you have to change she which drawn. What is it? You should know. What is the other gender for all this? Okay. Now here he becomes, she becomes he. He has. Which becomes dog. He has a dog. He has a dog who at a be every day. So, we must learn female called be male drawn. Now, he has a bitch wet a drawn every day. He has a dog wet a bee every day. So, we learn that. Next one, look at that. Look at the next change. The huntress killed. The huntress. The hunt. The huntress killed. The huntress killed a tigress. Huntress killed a tigress, a bull, and a filly. And a filly. Again, we have to know the spelling, gender, then only we can do. Hundreds need to be changed. Tigress, bull and a filly all need to be changed. Okay, now let's do it. The huntress becomes hunter. So, you will say the hunter, the very good, the hunter killed, killed. A tiger, very good. A tiger. Then, for bull, you will say a cow and a and a colt. Very good. And a colt. So, huntress, hunter. Tigress, tiger. Bull. Cow, Philly, 
cold. So now you learned to do that. Another one, one more last sentence. One more sentence I need to give you. The bride was an 18 year old lass. The bride. The bride was an 18 year old. 18 year old 18 year old lass. Now here what are the changes we need to make? We need to make the bride we need to change, the lass we need to change. Okay, now let's do it. Bride become bridegroom. The bridegroom the bride groom was an 18 year old 18 year old last lad last becomes lad now just look at what we have done here we have changed the gender of the underlined words okay can she come in, madam? Then you say, can he come in, sir? She has a bitch who ate her drawn every day. He has a dog who ate her bee every day. Okay. The huntress killed a tigress, a bull and a filly. The hunter killed a tiger, a cow and a colt. Finally, the bride was an 18 year old lass. The bridegroom was an 18 year old lad. We'll do some more sentences so that we get a practice of changing the fem feminine to masculine, masculine to feminine. We have to do some more sentences for better practice. Okay, here. The leopard carried away Fisher woman's child. The leopard, the leopard, the leopard carried away, carried away, the leopard carried away, fisherman's. Fisher woman, Fisher woman's child. That's the sentence I have for you. And see what all we have to change here. The leopard, leopard need to be changed, carried away, fisherman's child. Three changes need to be made here. Okay, so now what will you say? The leopard is, leopard is masculine, make it to feminine. The leopard is ESS. You add ESS, become female. The leopard is carried away. Carried away. The leopard is carried away. Fisherman, fisherwoman's child will become. Okay, you can leave it. Fisher, the leopard is carried away. Fisher, Fisher woman, Fisher man, Fisher man's child. You don't need to do that, that's a neuter gender. Okay, so the leopardess, leopard, leopardess, Fisher woman, Fisher man's. Okay, Fisher woman, Fisher man's child. Another sentence I have here for you is, the bachelor stayed in her house. The bachelor, the bachelor stayed, the bachelor stayed in her house, in her house. So, what are the things need to change here? You need to say in bachelor and her. Now, so what is the 
bachelor spinster very good the spinster the spinster stayed in his house very good in his house very good and the sentence i have here for you is he owns a colt a goose and a cow he owns he owns he owns a colt a goose and a cow and a cow he owns a colt so what are the changes we are going to make owns a colt a goose and a cow we got to change all this to another form now he what about he he also had to be changed so you will say she owns she owns a for colt what will you write for colt filly filly a goose gander gander goose gander and a cow bull a bull so unless you know you cannot change so he owns she owns a colt a filly a goose a gander a cow a bull now the sentence we need to do she went to her mother to meet her mistress she went she went with her she went with her mother mother to meet to meet her mistress mistress that's it we have done now what is it we are going to change we'll change she her mother her mistress all this need to be changed okay now let's look at it so what will you say he went you will say he went with very good his father mother becomes his father very good to meet to meet his mistress master very good to his, meet his master again unless we know the gender we cannot change then we need to do a couple of it orally okay now the husband loved his wife very much so what will become the wife loved her, her husband very much okay the widow stayed alone with her daughter widow become yes the widower very good stayed alone with his son the widow stayed alone with her daughter the widower stayed alone with his son okay now another one the tailor met a woman he gave her the dress so you must say that when the tailor met the man she gave him the dresses okay one more the pea hen danced in the rain how will you change it the peacock danced in the rain very good next the emperor honored the governess and the earl so you will say the empress honored the governess and the earl earl becomes duchess please tell your mother to meet him today please tell your father to meet her today so when you do this work be very careful read aloud you should know the other gender now change the gender of the noun the leopard carried away the fisherman's child leopard you should know leopard is other so you cannot write carried away fisher woman fisherman's child the bachelor stayed in her house so you'll say the spinster stayed in his house here yeah. 
he owns, so you will say she owns, he owns a colt, filly, a goose, gander, a cow, a bull, you should know that. Then she went with her mother to meet her mistress, he went with his father to meet his master. So writing, reading aloud makes practice, makes you perfect.